My name is Sarah Tardif and I am a visual artist and a graduate architect. I started art when I was about three years old, maybe even less than that. I enjoy colour, it's pretty much my drug of choice. I was trained uh, initially as a visual artist straight from high school at UniSA. I decided that I needed something a bit more logical combined with my artistic talents and I decided to study architecture instead. I have been doing a lot of work with geometric shapes of late which comes from my architecture training. It's inspired me to do a lot of different uh, pattern type work. I've been trained in life drawing and uh, very visually re realistic drawing but I really have a thing at the moment for the abstract. Well, growing up in Adelaide, I've always had a really sort of close relationship with my surroundings, um, particularly buildings, being interested in architecture. I've really been fascinated with Adelaide in particular because there's so much ambiguity about us. We're so we're on an edge, basically, as far as the rest of Australia goes. We're either seen as boring or either seen as up and coming, new and quirky or whatever, strange. And also the way we see ourselves is a mixture of conservatism with artistic there. How Adelaide is formed, like Mount Lofty Range, just fascinates me. Like, I love going up there and I see all these different shapes and forms. I just, I've got to express that colour and that shape that I see. My name is Luke Carlino and I'm now today 30 years old, <laughs> which sucks to say. Well, I'm a musician who plays in a various number of bands, but at the moment I'm working on some solo material of myself that uh, features a loop pedal in my live show and some pretty diverse genres in the music that I write, I hope. This has probably been about a year's worth in, of work towards this, and there's probably about maybe 15 or so shows under the belt. That's for the looping stuff, but I mean, I've been playing music since I was 15 and, and always and writing songs since about that same age. Anyone who finds something that they're passionate about uh, and when they get the chance to do that, they realise there's no other feeling like that. So if you find that you love writing music and playing music, the feeling that you get back from that can't be matched by anything else. So that for me is why I do it. It's like someone who loves surfing. When they're on a wave, there's no feeling that tops that. For me, there's no feeling matching creating a song or performing that song like. Islands was one of those songs that just sort of came out and those are the best ones because they just come out without you planning it too much. And the idea behind the song is that it's a love song that's also not a love song. So every line in the song can be interpreted in both a positive and a negative way when talking about a relationship or about love. So it's really a song to match any mood that you're in. If you're in a positive mood, you'll find something there, but if you're also in a negative, it's, it's got that there for you as well. It's all about how you look at it. The work that I do, I cross the discipline, engage a lot with other people who do a, have a very similar way of thinking or a very, very similar process of creativity. But putting those two different mediums of expression together can produce something far more rich. Um, yeah. I think that there's nothing better than that. I think when you find something that matches up, and especially in the case where you've got artists who've created individually and then finding that it fits together like that's just lucky like that's just really cool and on the same page I think collaboration between artists is I mean some of the best songs that you've heard or some of the best art pieces that you've seen can come from two amazing artists working together and uh, sharing their ideas and it also puts the artist in a bit of a different light as well because it's one thing to work by yourself but then also different to work with someone else so it's a good challenge for the artists as well I think it helps them grow. It's very true. <laughs> Yeah. to say I love the way you bleed to all 
that's okay and I'll just stay beneath you Cheers.